Hi everyone, today at Top Gym I'm gonna talk to you about Batamu. It's a battle game for 8 years and older, so I'm gonna show you how it plays and tell you what I think right after. So the game comes with 5 different types of cards. So we have the theme a card, so here this card represents the animals. This one represents a color. This one represents cities. And this one represents a surname. We also have uh, the letter cards. So it's a battle. At the beginning, I'm going to shuffle the cards and separate them equally between the players. We're going to turn one card together at the same time. If we have uh, this uh, theme, so uh, the surname and the letter O, we need to find a name that contains the letter O, not necessarily that starts with O, but has an O inside. So we could say, for example, Olivia, or we can say uh, Nora, so both those names are, are good for this combination. If, for example, we turn a combination of a color card and a letter, then again, in this case, I can say orange, or I can use an O in another color, which is inside the word. For, for example, with the R, um, this one I can say red or I can say purple. So any of those two colors works here. Uh, then we have the animals. So if we have a combination of a letter and an animal, then we can say, for example, um, rabbit. Or we can say crocodile. Okay, that works as well. And finally, if we have a combination of a, the city card and a letter, then we have again to say uh, the name of a city that starts or has the letter R in the word. For example, we can say Paris or we could say Rome. In the case where we have two letter cards, then we have to find a word that contains those two letters. So let's say I say garage, for example, contains those two letters. Or if I have those two, I can say orange, or I can say road, or any of those combinations. The first one to say the word will win the cards. If by any chance I turn two theme card, then we go into battle. That means that each player is going to put one card of their deck down here. And then after, we're going to go into battle again. Then we need to find an animal starting with the letter X or having X in the name. So it happened many times where we are stuck and we cannot figure it out. What we do, we just take our card back and just turn a new card to make a new challenge. So let's say I say blue. First one, I'm gonna get all the cards in my hand. So let's play a small game to show you how uh, it's going on. So I've separated the package in two and we have to turn at the same time. Juice. So I have found a word that contains both letters. An animal that starts with B. Bear. Z zebra. Mm. Zimbabwe. Lion. Dominic. Scotia. Scotia Bank. <laughs> okay. So now we have a battle. We put one card and then second. Nora. Youssef. Rosalie. Okay, let's see. Ben. No. ben. Benny. Ben. R Veronica. A city with J. Washington. Pinocchio. Okay. Fuchsia. Fuchsia. I can ask. Yeah. 
No. So we're gonna take the cards and put it back under our deck when we can't do it. Yellow. Oh yes, Yellow. you're right, you're right. Very good. Sing. Mm -hmm. Zinc. Olivia. Benny. Beat. Beat. Okay, so the game finishes when one of the person has no card and the other one has all the cards and the one with all the cards will win the game. So what I think about Batamo, I loved this game. It's really, really a nice battle game where you can learn new words, where you're playing and it's really simple, but at the same time, it's really hard because sometimes it's not easy to find a word with the letters that you're picking up. However, uh, and the cards are simple, like this, nothing uh, hard about it. Obviously, we have X, Y, Z. Sometimes it's hard to find a word with X, Y, or Z. Uh, I recommend if you play with the younger kids, just remove those letters. There's no problem there. We also added a rule that um, you cannot repeat the same word twice. So that's uh, one of the, the rule we added, just because it will be too easy to say always the same word. For the special cards, they are very, very nice and simple to see. Uh, I thought that uh, the color card, it's a little hard to find a color starting with Z, for example, or sometimes there's letters that the colors doesn't contain um, that letter. So if you don't like to play with this one, I recommend you just remove it, but try it, why not? And even for the younger, I think it's harder. Uh, the other cards, very simple. So you have to find or an animal, a city or a person that starts with that letter or has that letter in the word. Um, however, this game permits you to expand. I think this is really nice. For example, if you pick up this card, you have to agree at the beginning of the game that the character or, or the person, the names, for example, will be only female name. So then you can agree at the beginning or can only be boy's name or can only be like um, a famous people name. So you can change this card to be more specific, more different. Same thing for the city. I really think that we can use this card and make it things a little complicated. Like for example, let's look for capitals or let's look for countries. And we can even make it like, okay, make sure that the, the words start with the letter. And not only does it have the letter in the word. So I love this game because there's so many possibility of making it complex and the battle is nice. However, yes, this is a battle game. It's really hard to finish that game. So I do recommend you set up a timer, 15 minutes, and see who wins right after. So I do recommend it. I love this game. I'm going to keep it in my bookshelf because it's a really, really nice game. I see you later. Bye-bye.